I told the producers, I told Justin, the supervising producer of this show, to cancel you and send you home this weekend. And he begged me not to do it. We have resources that we can extend to families, which is unprecedented for a television show. Through last season, we have extended in aftercare for our guests $29 million in aftercare resources for our guests. $29 million. I cannot waste resources. And, and you say you want your girl's life saved. And, but you, you get out here and you say, and I quote, we want money for all of this b****. We don't need to go through this to prove they need help. So either money or we're going home. That's final. That's what you said to my staff? That's a quote. I just know they deserve something for two full days of this. We shouldn't have this extra stress for no reason. We had to do a lot. I need spending money for the girls for things other than food, not hotel only money. I'm not telling them they can't buy anything except food. I wouldn't have done this at my house, sister's house, hotel for nothing. There's no reason they can't give them a debit card. We were misled, it should be corrected. Are you almost here? Because we're not doing any more extra. Patrick made a mistake. I don't think it's fair to punish these girls because of someone else's mistake. We want money for all of this Those are your quotes I have in writing. But that wasn't what I, that's not how I meant to come off. I don't need money, I want them to have help. It was just, a a lot more than I expected what was going to happen this, the past five days. You were promised one thing. This was going to take a long time and you need to clear your schedule. Yes. That's what you were promised. By the way, we record everything. Okay. We talk to you on the phone, we record everything. You know why? Know. Because of people like you. Well, that's not what I'm about though. Now you're turning this around on me. I'm here for my daughter's help. Oh, I'm turning it around on you? I don't, we're not here to discuss it. I don't want money. Well, that works out good. <laughs> you wouldn't this sign the release this morning unless you got money. Yeah, because they promised a lot of things and they didn't hold up to that. Oh, whoa, 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 yeah, okay. I mean, All that's right. not what the show okay. is about, is it? I thought no. it was about the girls. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I thought that was the I whole was key exactly was to getting right. the girls' help. I was exactly right. This is a waste of resources. No, this is a waste of resources. No, and I'm really sorry, because I really like your girls. You either want help for your girls or you don't. I do, and I'm sorry. I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to drag you. You are either going to be part of the problem or part of the solution. And I'm not going to get an email from you 30 days from now. Well, they didn't do what they said they were going to do at the treatment. They didn't say this and you didn't say that. So let me make it clear right now in front of God, cameras, and everybody, there are no promises. There are no guarantees. You get what you get. All I can do is the best I can do. And that begins with giving you a wake-up call that you need to either become part of the solution or we're done.